Hey there, I'm Jody from the Clutter Free Classroom, and I love all things classroom decor, which is why it pains me to tell you that 2020 is not the year to be focused on that. Decor does set the stage, it's what makes your classroom a home, but there is way too much to balance this year as you go into the new school year. So much is unknown, which is really making it hard to plan all over the place, but what we do know is that this year is going to look extremely different than ever before. Hybrid models of being in school and online are very likely, if not returning to completely online, and also your students are going to need structure, routine, consistency, and a classroom community more than ever. So we are so excited to introduce you to Elementary Classroom Decor, which we believe will help you quite a bit in this situation. We have combined every single one of our classroom decor resources into one collection, and we're giving teachers lifetime access to everything at a temporarily ridiculously low cost. Um, and we're doing that because we know how different this year is going to be for you and we just kind of want to make things as easy as possible. Best of all, every single one of our themes just received a complete and total update. Every inch of it was touched. And in addition to that, we've added 10 additional classroom decor bundles and completely update, updated all of our color schemes and those are included as well. They are 100% editable. I often would get comments from teachers because our others were editable, however, there were parts of it that you couldn't change and they would say, you know, I teach in a French immersion classroom or a Spanish immersion classroom and everything needs to be in Spanish. Now, any text can be changed. Even as far as language goes, I know having taught in New England, I always said math centers, but friends in other part of the country would refer to math stations or my kids would go to the library once a week, whereas others would go to a media center. So you can change all of that text. We have made it so much more diverse. When I first started creating classroom themes um, between 2012 and 2014, I had to use the clip art that was available at that time, and there was not a lot of variety. Clip artists have really um, put an effort into creating clip art that is more diverse and that children can see themselves in. So we changed out all of the clip art. It is absolutely comprehensive. This has Everything you could possibly need to set up your classroom from labels to posters to name tags to binder covers, decorations, math resources, 10 frames, 100 charts, calendar sets, weather, um, on and on and on, alphabets, absolutely comprehensive. Best of all, it's budget friendly. We like to keep our classroom decor sets um, cost effective anyway, but this year, as I said, we're really going out of our way to give you a lot for very little money so that you have the option to um, print out what you need when you need it. Best of all, it is flexible. We understand you may be in the classroom, you may not be in the classroom. This will allow you to set up an environment either way. So we're really excited about this. We have added five teaching slides that match each theme to everyday core set that you can use for online Meet the Teacher. You can use them for PowerPoints. You can use them to send out lessons. You can do whatever you want with them. We've also added five Google headers to each theme. That's our garden theme. If you're using Google Classroom, you can customize it to um, match your classroom theme. You can also print these out and use them as trim around an anchor chart, which would look cute. This I love. It's an online teaching backdrop, which you can have printed um, relatively cheap. I would say between $15 and $30. It's a, you can print it into a vinyl backdrop. I have them printed in two and a half by four feet sizes. You can hang it on the wall behind you and you've got a cute little classroom set up for when you're teaching on the computer. That is our Apple theme. Here are some samples from fairy tales, jungle or safari, the monkey theme, and our travel theme. Super cute. We've also created items you can use to create a classroom at home um, to make a backdrop of your own if you wanted to just hang them on the wall or a bulletin board. We have uh, themed printable bulletin board trim, signs that you can personalize and write what you want on them to create um, backdrops as well as pennant banners, um, bunting, and other items. We have growth mindset posters. We have decorative paper that matches, so you can kind of create your own things. For classroom use, we have three styles of nameplates, number labels that can be used so that you can put them, I used to put them on things so that, the things that I would have to label every year, so I didn't have to put the ch children's um, name on it and wouldn't have to redo it. Things like cubbies or mailboxes, it was helpful to use a number. These we created as name tags, however, you can certainly use them as labels. We have larger labels binder covers, 
binder spine, supply labels. These work great either on buckets or baskets or also those uh, little hardware drawers that pe teachers like to use as teacher toolboxes. Then we have days of the week labels, which I like to use on those plastic sterilite drawers for um, papers, for copies, for things like that. Team signs, you can edit them to be table signs, however you want. Passes, which are also editable, that's the B theme. Then we have a birthday chart. We have labels for pencils for when they're sharp or dull or broken and need sharpening. There are 36 schedule cards, 48 job cards. I use a pocket chart for these. A dismissal chart. A where are we chart. This I would put on my classroom door and use a clothespin. I would have these around it so that when someone would come to our room, if we weren't there, it would tell them where we're at. Then the other thing we did when we did the update was we completely changed out the um, behavior thing. We had originally included clip charts and they just, I don't agree with clip charts and the philosophy of them and the public display of behavior. So we went ahead, took those out and we changed that out for positive incentives. So we have a paper chain, which is a whole class incentive where they work together as a team and they earn a ring and when it touches the floor, they get a prize. A uh, chart to be acknowledged for positive choices as well as a good news note to send home. Hand signals is my favorite management tool for keeping, um, kids on task without interruptions. Then we have created newsletters so you can build relationships with the families through uh, communication. Word wall set includes the header, the cards, and also um, the cards to put specific words on, whether you use sight words or vocabulary that relates to content areas. Then we have alphabet cards, which come in several different versions. One question that used to come up a lot or a comment in my feedback was we had the alphabet cards and some teachers would use Zane or Blows or some used handwriting without tears, some used um, Danelian. And so obviously I can't make all the different types of handwriting styles. So what I'm excited about is we put the dotted lines so you can actually write it in to match the handwriting expected from your children. A reference chart for color words just to help them spell them, bookmarks, reading logs, telling time helpers that show the intervals around the clock and help teach them how to tell time, seasons and weather, um, tooth tallies so you can practice uh, tally marks and counting, days, number of days that have been in school for place value, hundreds charts, there's a 120 chart included as well, um, 10 frames, days of the week. And then a complete calendar set, which has the headings, the day headings, posters, the numbers that you need. So as I said, there is a ton of stuff in here. You will have access to every single one of our themes for the lifetime the product exists, which is into the foreseeable future because we don't intend to take it down. Um, anyway, we're so happy to offer this to you and I hope it makes your school year easier.